my gift, my Red Rider BB gun, was a Shimano Speedmaster spinning reel. And I remember the day I picked that up, I was 12 years old, I remember thinking, if there's no possible way to get any smoother than this. All right, just now getting to walk the show floor, because I've been working the whole time. Let's go see if we can find anything cool. This is a new frog. This is the Cavalcho frog from Jackal. Now this thing right here is going to be a really good walking frog. Side to side action. You notice the, uh, the tails are spaced out a little bit differently. You got a third tail on there and it's kind of got a teardrop shape to it. So that's going to allow that thing to walk a little bit more. Can't wait to get this thing out on the water. Consistent throughout. Guys, I have great news. I may or may not have James Elam may or may not have my lost GoPro that I've been searching for. Is this GoPro yours? Dude, thank you so much. You're the man. I need, I need like a uh, finder's fee. You need a finder's fee? Alright, guys, go to my fun, uh, GoFundMe page. Storage. Lake Storage Fort guy. The, the found, we gotta pay James oh, Elam for finding it. So seriously, where did you find it? It was in my rod box. This okay. is the Gontia. It features a soft plastic tail to give it more action. It's actually got uh, four seg segments on here. It has a keel in the front, a vertical keel, so you can actually burn this bait to keep it in line. And you can add weights like the Gantarelle to get it to dive as, as deep as you want. Without any weight, it goes down about two or three feet. These fins right here will make it dive down. Um, and I'm not really sure what this top ring is for, but really cool uh, shape. I like the baby bass color. And if you like throwing swim baits, you might want to try this guy. First cookie of the day. Oh, there you are. I see you. Oh, you wanted to make it look like an idiot. There's the one rod in one reel. Sitting here with the YouTube squad. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. We're just listening no, to some no. Caribbean music, no, talking about bass fishing. Weirdest calls ever. So, John B. has this lens. Yeah. Lunkers TV has this yeah. lens. You ever get that? Just got it. Mike has this one. Carrick's got a hand-me-down No, that's, no, that's right? new. This is new. No, I bought he's it. making mad money. Right. So, <laughs> I'm the only one that doesn't have the cool lens. I'm not part of the cool lens club. You can always get one. Hey guys, sitting here with Thomas, ran into him here at the show no, at the Angler Labs booth. Uh, Thomas, I gotta I ask you, what's, to your, favorite, couple what's your favorite Lake Four guy fishing video? All of them. All of them? All of them? Yeah. Well, I like the way you think. Good man. Crazy new device here at Angler Labs, guys. Tracks all of your fishing data. Compares it. Puts it in with GPS, weather and water information. Drops waypoints. It's insane. Check it out. Angler Labs. He's got one on. Ran into Tyler here. Tyler's real fishing. Yes. Tyler, what do you think about iCast? This is your first rodeo. It is my first rodeo. And you know what? I have so many good feelings about it. There's so many good products here. So many good companies. Good relationships being formed. I get to hang out with just best buds like this. And I tell you, nothing better than that. That's for sure. Checking out Hobie. Somebody told me last night that they got some really cool technology in their fins now where it reverses. So I wanted to come over and check it out. So, you know, I've been fishing out of my PA 12 for a few years now. They got a new system on the Mirage Drive that actually reverses itself. So you can flip that over. It's just like the old version. You take it in and out, but now you can go in reverse. So I'm probably gonna have to get one of these. Got a new bait here, double flash swing blade. This is by owner. So it's actually detached. It's not like a regular spinner bait. So you can throw your favorite little boot tail on there and get some more action. And it has a prop on the front as well. So, good little bait to throw a little swim bait on. Swim early in the mornings for some schooling fish. Not sure if any of you guys are into fly fishing, but the Asquith right here is the nicest production fly rod ever made. 
Shadow rat, slow rising jerk bait. Cold water, awesome. if you don't live in Texas, this might be a jerk bait for you. <laughs> oh, it's so easy to turn. It's power steering. Unbelievable, power steering. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Turn it, all, turn it all the way up. Turn it all the way up to 10 and feel how it does it. Oh, okay. Wow. I got it turned all the way up to 10. I'm not even fighting it. It's so easy. Look at that. That's awesome. Which one? Navigation? Spot lock? That's spot lock. Spot this lock. is autopilot. And autopilot. Yep. All and, then right we, here. and then we also have the remote for it, so you can also record it. You can also control it with this uh, with this touch remote. So I have the ability to do all the functionality from the touch remote. And then we have Bluetooth, so there is an app that you'll wow. have on your phone that with your iPhone you can do some of the controls with your iPhone if you want to. Wow. Here at the Humminbird Minkota booth, this trolling motor is awesome. This is the new Ultrex. It's so easy to turn. Watch it. Super easy. TV, okay? Be quiet, it's your audio, okay? Yeah, no way. Well, hey, they're right here. Justin, Goons. What's your name? Marley. Marley? Yeah. Why do you, why do you like watching Lake Four Guy? Like, every video is like unexpected, like you don't know what, what, what he's going to do, or what, like, what bass, what, if he's going to do bass fishing in salt water. You the man, give me a fist pump. Whoa. Look at this. Wow. Kale, yeah. why do you like watching Lake Four Guy TV? Um, because it's funny and sometimes it helps me with some um, skills. My favorite episode is when you hit your um, wife in the neck with the frog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not tell Stephanie that. Give me a fist yeah. pump though. Slick looking top one right here. Mima. It's like a uh, finesse Sammy. Looks really good. Look at these little cute little jigs. These will catch a Texas sized bluegill, but I don't think they're Lake Fork certified. Seriously? Are we serious right now? So, hey guys, got a new oh, I'm on bass focus. popper bait. Not in focus, not in focus, not in focus. Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys, got a new popper bait that I'm going to be throwing on some of the East Texas lakes. Uh, this is for the big bass. I was one behind the camera. I love it. Quality work. <laughs> no, it's okay. Quality. Not quality at all, guys. I'm the worst camera guy ever. I get too excited. Do I, do I get too excited Josh on camera? Josh gets a little excited. I just, Usually what happens is things get is, a little shaky. This is what happens, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that fish. That's and, the usual Josh Jorgensen yeah, that, that, that's camera work. So this is the steadiest you'll ever see. Yeah, definitely. Because there's no fish. Skinny rod versus 10 pound weight. Here we go. <laughs> dude, feels like it's gonna break. It's like an amberjack right here, dude. Okay, Josh and I are running around iCast trying to see. We're trying to get free product right now, by the way. We're we're okay. It's Friday, and what we're trying to do, we're trying to scam people into giving us yes. free product. Yes. That's what you do at that's, iCast. That's what you do at iCast on Friday. You carry a big suitcase, and you just go, hey, <laughs> hey, can you do give you some really free stuff? You know, yeah, you you ask people, do you really want to pack that up? Oh, it would be much easier just to give it to me. Yeah, you don't need to ship that back. Give yeah. it to me. I'll take it for you. I'll fish it. Yeah. 17 <laughs> seven. No way. Are you being serious? Mondo, That's, okay, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to pull focus. There's only about 300 of them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. What the hell is that? That's like a frog. How do I go catch one? I want to go catch one right now. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Photoshop's probably your best bet. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to go catch one. But Justin's going to catch one, too. I'm I going, got I'm hopes. Going, hey, I'm going to Mexico. Big Bass Dreams, right? Big Bass Dreams. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Mexico. There is the studio case. Oh. Oh. Okay, we can go home now. I'm back the morning after I cast. Wow, it's a lot to take in, soak in. Really happy that I'm home with my family. They're happy I'm home too, right? 
course. Now let's talk about iCasts. First of all, I gotta say, I've been going to iCast for about eight years now. And my first trip there, I was there as a college fishing ambassador. Just enjoyed the whole experience. Got, got to meet a bunch of pros and just see the industry really at the inside level. And that was awesome. And now that I've been working in the industry for you know however many years it's been now, it's cool to come back. You guys, you came up to me at the iCast show. Thank you to everybody. You don't know how good that makes me feel. That makes me want to go make the best videos possible. And all the other YouTubers too. You know, that was really neat to see all of us together there and you know, people were recognizing us and they knew us. I would have never thought that three, four years ago, even two years ago. Uh, so it's just it's awesome. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching uh, All of our channels really, you know, I'll kind of speak for everybody um, It's awesome. It's just totally awesome. So thank you very much met a lot of new YouTubers that I hadn't met before I met Bama Bass and his wife Liz. They were such great people. I can't wait to go fishing with them um, You know just everybody else But it's just good to be home Good to be home. I was gone for like nine days and I enjoyed iCast. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little sneak preview behind the scenes at iCast. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Uh, tell me if you like the vlogs. Tell me if you don't like the vlogs. I don't care. Just let me know. Uh, I like to hear feedback from you guys. And if there's anything that you want to see in particular uh, for summer and fall patterns, lures, things like that, let me know in the comments. Uh, I, I want to, to hear from you guys and see see what you want to see. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch y'all next time. Black tip. This is black tip ice cream right here. You see the black tip? <laughs>